Hello, I'm a tuba judge. My heart is full. You know, when David said, My heart indicts a good matter. You know, I, I was talking with the Lord recently, and the Lord began to explain some things to me concerning this year, 2021. And now, He wasn't just telling me prophecies that things that will happen this year no no you see there's a time you have fellowship with the lord and not that he's telling you, number one thing that will happen is this number two is this no he, he you are just having a time of fellowship with the lord and then he's sharing his heart to you and as he shares his heart to you you begin to realize how ignorant the world is how ignorant people are no wonder he says darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness will cover the people. You see, when he says gross darkness, it means even the thing that was supposed to be light will not help. That's what it means by gross darkness. So everything is just causing darkness. Even those that are supposed to be light, instead of shining as light, they are causing darkness. And we've seen that happen. Even recently, we've seen that happen. You know, on Friday, on the first of this month, I was talking to you about something very, very important. And I said, one thing you must not joke with this year going forward is your tithe. Now, when you say this, you see, people think he's looking for money. Now, if you've heard me preach on tithing and, and you understand what I preach, you will know that it's not about anybody seeking your money. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, you know, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing how the mind works, and that's because of darkness. When, when you submit your mind to darkness, all manner of evil, you know, for example, I just said, you, you've got to be serious with your tithe. And someone said, ah, they have come again. Yeah, they have come again. They have come again. They want our money. <laughs> you see, that's the most funny thing. Why don't you be patient and listen first? And after listening, then you decide if it is the truth or not. See, listen, pay attention. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, I was talking to the Lord and the Lord began to show me that, listen, I have done everything I need to do. And by the way, the world is going to go through a phase, some deep economic crisis. I'm warning you beforehand. But you see, in the midst of it, God is not coming with a plan right now. He has already established his plan even for this day. Now you remember Egypt, when Joseph was in Egypt and he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. Now there was going to be seven years of famine coming. See? Now before the seven years of famine, there were seven years of plenty. Now, if Joseph had not spoken to the king, the mind of God concerning that season, what do you think would have happened? Just like the rest of the world, Egypt would have gone under. But because of one man who spoke and interpreted the times and the seasons for the king of Pharaoh, and a Pharaoh who was right thinking in his heart, turning over his realm to this unknown fellow, a foreigner, saying, look, you be in charge of these things because I believe it is true. You see, that's the problem many times. Unbelieving. Lots of people walk in unbelief. So even when they hear the word of the Lord, they say, how can it happen? What do you mean? What, what do you mean seven years of plenty and seven years of famine? Please, 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 please. But the king believed because he was a child of God. See? So he believed. There was an agreement in his heart concerning it. So much so. You see, that's how you show you believe something. Your actions will tell if you believe it or not. He, he considered it and he said, you know what, Joseph? Since you're the one that came up with this wisdom, I know you're going to be passionate about this thing. You will not let it fail. So I'm turning over everything to you. Run the economy of our nation. It's in your hands. If we fail, it's because you failed us. 
If we do well, it's because you did us well. Praise God. And that's what happened. So listen, God was not quiet, but every other nation did not hear him. Hey, hey, guess what? Including Jacob. Jacob was alive then, but he didn't know about this famine. Yet his son was the one carrying the covenant of blessing for that season. But he, the father, though he had a relationship with the Lord, didn't know it. But you know what? God was mindful of them also. So what I'm sharing with you now, telling you that the world is going to go through a phase of economic depression. It is the truth. It is not a lie. So you better listen to me. Let me tell you what God has planned and what God has said for the coming seasons. And one of the things the Lord has said that we must uphold old and that this is not about preaching this is not about whether you like it or not and like i told you on friday i said i will preach it if you like don't believe it when it hits you you will remember you had a solution and you will go back to the message what did god tell them in in, in isaiah where i read yesterday he says go to the book of the lord read it today we have truth messages that are posted online go listen to it Thank you, Holy Spirit. So the Lord said, listen, what's going to save the world is tithing. He said, what do you mean tithing? Yeah. Yeah. Say, how? I'll tell you how. You, you, you don't realize that God is perfect. His ways are perfect. There is nothing new God is going to do in this life. Nothing new. There is nothing, no prayer you're going to pray today that will go say, hmm. Michael, Gabriel, come here. Here they come. Ah, you see what my son is going through. What, what kind of solution do you think we can bring to solve this issue? Nothing like that, praise God. Everything that needs to be done, every solution that will ever exist. That's why even, even great scientists, what do they do? More of discovery. Discovery. When you say discover, it means it has been there. No one had seen it before now. So someone just found what was there and, and wasn't selfish about it. He made it such a way that it can benefit everyone. Praise God. Now that's what you do with the truth. You make it such a way to benefit everyone. And that's what I'm doing with you right now. Praise God. So God set up, ah, ma shoprat ike shoprat ikala. Ignorance is bad, I'm telling you. Ignorance is such a wicked thing. So, so God set up the Titan system. And his mind was to leave prosperity on the earth. That's the truth. So he said, hey, bring you all the tithe into my storehouse. So that there will be meat in my house. The question is, where is the storehouse of God? You see? Now that's where we make mistakes. We make mistakes in our definition. When you get the definition wrong, your meaning will be wrong. So your action will be wrong. Because the point, your focal point is wrong. So everything you take from that point is wrong. You know, it's the same thing when people began to castigate tithe. It is so amazing. The same year we were praying and God said to us, this year you are stepping into it's a year of titan. Yeah, that's what God said. And that was the year the truth about titan, the, the titan message came under serious attack. With men of low understanding. Men who know nothing about the subject. You know why? Because they took their focal point from pastors are uh, eating people's money. That was their point. And they from that point began to look at the subject of tithing. And they say, ah, we should stop this tithing. We should stop this tithing. They didn't take it from the word of God. They didn't take it from the truth of God. They didn't know the mind of God consigning it. If you know the mind of God consigning it, all you need to do is now straighten the line and every shaft, everything that is wrong concerning it will fall off. Then you see clearly, oh, this is where we are supposed to be going but once your focal point is on man you see you're looking at man man is wrong man is evil so oh, this thing is empowering man so let's stop it 
you, 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 tell, you are telling people they are not supposed to tie. And then some pastors even that had no, you know, when, when you hear certain things, as, as a minister of the gospel, what's your job? Your job is to tell the people the mind of God. So how do you know the mind of God? Fellowship. Real fellowship. Now, so I, you know, sometimes pastors make this mistake. They, they, they somewhat attack something. And then they look at it that truly we don't have sufficient proof in the Bible to support this. So because there is no sufficient proof to support this, that person may just be right. Foolishness. I call it foolishness. Did you go to the Lord concerning it? Did you hear the Lord concerning that matter? See? That's what God's children do. So if you're a minister of God, that is what is expected of you. God did not send us to argue Bible. He sent us to be witnesses of that which is written. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are supposed to be a witness of that which is written. Not sitting down to argue, okay, it is there, it is not there, it is there, it is not there. So you hear people say that Titan is not in the New Testament. So because Titan is not in the New Testament, then um, I think um, if it is serious, we shouldn't, we, 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 it should have been in the New Testament. How foolish can that be? How, what kind of foolish thinking that can be? I'm serious about this. Foolishness. You don't even understand the Jesus that you call. How dare you say Titan is not in the New Testament? Who is Jesus in the New Testament? The Bible says Jesus is our high priest. After whose order is Jesus Christ? The order of Melchizedek. Question, what does it mean the order of Melchizedek? It means the pattern of Melchizedek. So what does it mean the pattern of... Now, what do you know about Melchizedek? The only thing written about Melchizedek in scriptures is that he came to bless Abraham. And when he blessed Abraham, he received the tithe from Abraham. That's all that was written about Melchizedek. And now Jesus is the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. So what do you think Jesus is doing there? He's, he's high priest to receive our tithe and to bless us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. You, you, see, <laughs> you know, sometimes I've, I've, I've been on this for many years now. What do I mean I've been on this? The Lord has been talking to me about tithe for many years now. And you know the truth? The, the different times he, he, he comes and he says, let me tell you something more about it. And by the time he opens it up, I go, wow, ah, man, I, I don't think, I wrote a book on Titan, praise God. And, 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 and now I'm thinking, Lord, I think we need to write another one. But then I'm also thinking, what else is he going to tell me about this? Jesus, that we serve, is the high priest for one reason to receive the tithe from us and then to bless us i'm going to be showing you tomorrow the right he has to receive the tithe and the right he has to bless us now don't miss tomorrow's broadcast praise god I, I, i'll get this foolishness out of your mind it's got to go you know why because when the pressure hits you, if you don't know the truth, you will fall by the wayside. And God wants to save you from that. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, God bless you. Have a fruitful day and meditate on these things. Bye-bye.